Welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host today, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio is Dana Dobson, owner of Dana Dobson Public Relations. Dana, welcome to the show. Well, thanks, Fran, for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Good, good. I'm glad, and I love that electric blue dress. Thank you very much. With great hair. With the hair, thank you yeah. very much. Yes. Yep. Yep. Good. So, is yeah. that is thank that part of noticing. the public relations secret to like look great? You always must in public relations. You always must look fabulous. No, fabulous. no, actually, no. I'm in my jeans and a t-shirt most of the day. Truth be known, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the core of who I am is I'm a writer, mm. okay. and I am a writer who who learned to be a publicist. Mm. So at, at my core, I'm a writer and a publicist. Although when I was a little girl, and, and I, I think I've always been that way. Hmm. But I, I didn't know what a publicist was hey, until years, who knew? years later. But I love finding new ideas and, and presenting those new ideas mm -hmm. to people. I love finding ways to put people in the limelight and then mm -hmm. stepping back mm -hmm. and telling their story. So it, was, it made me an ideal journalist because I could tell mm -hmm. stories about interesting, fascinating things. I'd get to experience them. But then at the end of the day, uh, when the story is published, uh, it's other people's work being showcased. Right, so that's what right. I love. That's what I love to do. So I guess that's a, a publicist, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. That's a publicist. And you said you loved doing this even as a little girl. Yes. So sort of when did you discover the writer in you? And when did you discover sort of public relations? Well, in, in, in writing and public relations, for me, it's always been about a fascination with the notion of audience. Mm, okay. My parents are actors. Oh, wow. So they okay. would take us kids to their shows and people would laugh and applaud and at party they were the hit of every party that they mm -hmm. went to and all I knew is that in my in my little girl mind when there's an audience there's love and acceptance and mm -hmm. great amounts of people come by to support you in what you do. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that there were elves working behind the scenes oh, of course. to get people there. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's just in my mind love and audience equated themselves to one another. Mm. So when you put somebody in the spotlight, they get an audience. Yes. And everyone who's in business has to have an audience, by hook or by crook, however you get there. And the most effective way I've found to get an audience is by using the media. Mm. I don't mean using the media. I mean by, by working with the media Absolutely. as the gatekeepers mm -hmm. to get your messages out there. Mm -hmm. So I work with my clients, helping them present themselves to the media. Sometimes they hand over the keys and they say, run off and publicize me, you know, sure. make, make my name a household name. And, uh, but a lot of people, a lot of business owners just want to know how. Mm -hmm. They just don't know how to get that kind of publicity. So right. that's my joy. That's what that's I love joy. helping them do. And you do it through writing. That's your primary sort of key that helps you connect with the media. The, the world is always changing. They've always mm -hmm. got new name for things and new stuff that we've been doing for years. And one of those things that we've been doing for years, it has a new pet name, is content marketing. Ah. Mm -hmm. But content has always been a part of public relations. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, I started as a journalist, and that mm -hmm. was all content, getting content out there. Absolutely. And now content today is blogging, it's ebooks, it's white papers, it's social media posts, it's mm -hmm. all those things that you write about to get your name out there. Mm -hmm. So it's always been about content. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of knowing how to market that content and get it out there so that your audiences will see it and then respond to it. Right. And, and it's probably the most credible way of establishing your subject matter expertise mm -hmm. because the content is proof that you know what you're talking about. Right. People can see it. People yeah. can refer back to it. Right. Okay. Right. right. And right. especially when the media is saying, hey, Fran has got this awesome TV show, you got to mm -hmm. check it out, everybody's going to believe that and tune in mm -hmm. because you didn't say it, a third party said it. And they know what they're talking about. Right, right. And it's scientifically proven <laughs> that when the media says it, so it's so. So, wow. so anyway, I get a, I get a big kick out of that. Mm. Well, you clearly enjoy it. Mm -hmm. What are what are like? Who do you like to work with the most, and why? Wow, big question. 
Uh, well, you know, the, the, the low-hanging fruit of that question is anybody, I love to work with anybody that understands mm -hmm. that they need to build an audience. Oh, okay. They okay. want to build an audience. Mm -hmm. Authors are great fun. Yeah. Because they want to sell books. Right. And the more people they reach out to and the more uh, articles they can get, more interviews that they get, the more books they're going to sell. Mm -hmm. But I've also walk, worked with companies, like a software company who's launching a really cool technology. They have to get reviewed by the press and the media to give them the credibility there. Mm -hmm. But they also have to build significant partner mailing lists. And mm -hmm. you know, the, the media isn't, isn't the only type of audience that you hope to attract mm -hmm. to get your word out there. There are many other audiences that you also reach out to. You know, mm -hmm. We call it public relations, but it should actually be called public's relations. Ah, there's because a, there's plural. There's no such thing as a great <laughs> One <big> public. public. <laughs> Monolithic. It's, it's public's. Right. So that's another fun part of it, is that mm. you're crafting messages and content based on the type of audience you want to attract. Mm -hmm. And that's great fun. Um, I love some of the journalism work that I've done. Mm. I love uh, just retelling the stories. I love telling the stories in, in a, um, of, of, of a feature nature. Mm -hmm. Like I, I uh, interviewed the family of a gal called Mama Celeste. I don't know if you remember mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. She had tons of TV commercials. It was Mama Celeste Pizza, and she always ended Oh, I do. Abundanza. Yes, yes, yeah. yes I do, and actually. Later on, actually, Quaker Oats bought her out. Mm -hmm. And she, she still had a thick Italian accent, and her family told me that uh, she would say, I, I work with Kakaroch instead of Quaker Oats. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think Quaker Oats so, would yeah. like that from a branding standpoint. So, and her family went on to open right. up a new chain of mm -hmm. very fine pizza restaurants. So I get mm -hmm. to just talk to the meanest wow. people in the world. Right. But uh, um, publicity to me is the favorite thing that I like to do because mm. publicity is something that you earn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not something you pay for. Right, right. It's That's something that, that, that uh, you acquire, that, mm -hmm. that you earn. I guess that's mm -hmm. the best word. You earn. I was and, trying to think others, of another word. Others give it to you because they feel that you are worthy. Yeah. Right. And, and getting right. that, getting your name out there through the media because the media mentioned you gives mm -hmm. you all the credibility that mm -hmm. you ever want to have, mm -hmm. and that's what I love. And I actually discovered publicity while I was in high school. So, so yes, because I was yes, raised so right I around love here. that story. I, I love went that to story. Lower Marion High School, mm -hmm. and in my junior year, and I was a complete drama nerd. Oh, the okay. apple didn't fall far from the tree. There, okay, but, you I was know, wondering. I didn't care what I was doing, painting sets, helping sew costumes. I didn't care. I just wanted mm -hmm. to be with those people. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so we would put on a, a annual talent show, a variety show, mm -hmm. and I was a junior in high school, and I don't remember if I was performing in the show or not, but somebody said, hey, Dana, you're doing publicity, and mm. I was like, okay, and I thought about it, and I thought about it, and what we had always done before is we would print out a Brazilian flyers, and then we would go up and down Lancaster Avenue, oh, and we God. would beg the store owners to let us put our sign in their window. Right. And then we would make kids take the flyers home from school to give it out to our parents, their parents, and that was it. And that, mm -hmm. you know, we would get maybe, we'd fill the auditorium maybe to a third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't enough. This year, we really wanted to pull out the stops. We wanted to pack that auditorium. Mm -hmm. So we got together as a group and we thought, what could we do to really draw attention to us? What kind of a outdoor stunt could we pull? Mm -hmm. We didn't know what we were talking about and that mm -hmm. this was being done all the time. Mm -hmm. And we thought, well, the name of the show is Alpha and Omega, mm -hmm. the beginning and the end. I guess we were smart kids. <laughs> but uh, we had, for some reason, caveman outfits in the costume room. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's just a little aside. We didn't put together the connect the dots on that yet. Mm -hmm. But where was the busiest p p place we could go and hand out flyers. Mm -hmm. It wasn't outside on the school, oh, absolutely. rush hour, no, it right, wasn't right. at Suburban Mall, which was here at the time. Mm -hmm. And then we decided, because we were young and we didn't know limitations yet. Uh -oh. uh, no, uh, Breaking rules, go ahead. City Hall. Oh my goodness, City Downtown. Hall, Philadelphia. 
it's only a five minute train ride. Right. We decided we would take a trunk full of flyers, mm -hmm. dress up like cavemen, and stand in front of City Hall and pass out the flyers. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of people. Right, right. And we're the wearing, audience. And we're the wearing audience. costumes from right. the show. Right. Now, I was wearing saddle shoes as my cave girl outfit, okay. but it didn't really okay. matter at the time. That okay. could be why we got so many people looking at us. But we were handing out flyers and mm -hmm. laughing and having a great time. And then this woman stepped up to us, mm -hmm. carrying a notepad, wearing kind of a flak jacket, mm -hmm. and asking us questions about the show. Mm -hmm. And she introduced herself as a reporter from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Oh, my goodness. And then the next thing we knew, there were these big cameras men were holding on shoulders, and they were filming us from different angles. Mm -hmm. So we were right in their neighborhood. So right. you know, the right. press sure. will always sure. come to an event if it's right. close by. So right. that was right in their backyard. But they love stories about plucky kids. Right. right. So they went back and filed their stories. We were on every single nightly news program. Mm -hmm. We were in the Sunday edition of the Philadelphia Inquirer. And I guess the combined exposure mm -hmm. from all of those different media hits was over a million people. Wow. So from the circulation, it's the highest circulation exactly. daily sure, newspaper, sure. and everybody watches, you know, right. six o'clock news. news. Right. We packed that auditorium. What a great story! And they weren't even aunts and uncles and right. cousins. <laughs> and we packed that, that auditorium, and powerful. that's when the light that's bulb powerful. went off. That that it, happened, right? Because the media had decided to come and cover us, right? Because what we were doing was newsworthy. I love it. I love it. Yeah. That is a wonderful story. And I know I want to make a quick segue that you also um, do some ghostwriting. Yes. And I wanted you to share one of the projects that you worked oh, on. And if you'll you. hold it up to the screen. Yeah, okay. We have about a minute left. So All right. I, I do want to have so you share that. This is a book that I wrote with a man called Fred Dawson. It's called Pearls, Women Who Radiate Success. And in it, we profile the stories of 21 remarkably accomplished women. But it has just won two uh, really big mm. writing awards, first place nonfiction and biography. So I wanted mm. to hold that up. Normally, a ghostwriter wouldn't be tooting her horn this way. So I, I just want you to know that. But uh, my name is on the cover, so it's semi-okay for me <laughs> to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's a big passion of mine too, that, ghost writing That is wonderful. So Dana, as we wrap up, I'd love for you to share where people can get in touch with you and who are the people that really should be contacting you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, my website address is danadobson.com. Mm -hmm. I am also very active in social media, it's Dana Do at Dana Dobson PR, Twitter, Dana Dobson Public Relations on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can email me at dana at danadobson.com. And uh, I love working with anybody who understands that publicity is the awesome sauce for getting their name out there. Mm, the awesome sauce. Yes. Okay. And I will. I love teaching people how to do it themselves. I've mm -hmm. got online programs for that. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I'm available to consult. And I'm also hand me the car keys, and I'll get you taken care of. So. Wow, that's wonderful. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having and me. And I'm glad it's that so you're back in you. your old stomping ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pretty I mean, cool. Yeah, thank you. Pretty cool. Thanks, well, I know you've got some exciting projects coming up. Continue doing the work that you're doing. Thank Very you. important. And it's, uh, you know, as a business owner, I definitely recognize how important it is to have other people on your team who are helping you get your message out. Yeah. So important work that Very you're doing. Very important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there you have it. Significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. With me today is Dana Dobson of Dana Dobson PR, Public Relations. Thank you, and continue to watch us, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube.